They say it's Mission something. The name of the golf course we're at, Central Coast, in Lompoc. And uh, yeah, we're playing a game where your best shot goes. I gotta get up there real quick. But I wanted to show you this tree crotch right here. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. So I, <laughs> I was supposed to put one of these on my tree at home. Same situation. This is a Quercus agrifolia oak. I, <laughs> I got this thing custom made and uh, they're gonna get mad at me because I gotta go shoot my ball. Wait, where's my club? Here it is. And I got it custom made and I um, came home a couple days later with this thing, walked it down there and the whole limb had fallen. I've been there for 400 years and it decided to fall like a day or two before I got the brace in. I'll go back and look at that right before I make an epic putt right here. All right, so we used my drive, but my putt was just a little short and did better than me. But look at this crotch here, this, uh, uh, what do you call that, brace. And look what it did over the years. This thing's been here obviously a long time. It's all rusted out. And the tree just grows right into it and consumes it. Look at that. What does that look like? That looks a lot like a mouth swallowing something. And uh, all the way around. Don't be afraid of like elevating this metal into your tree if you need to save the tree. There's no way this limb would have stayed up much longer without that brace. And once you put the brace in, it allows the limb to get even more brave and grow further out. And uh, so, yeah, I still have, I have another tree that arguably needs one of these. So I'm gonna go set it up there. Maybe I'll make a video when I do. And uh, just know that if you have a big limb, limb hanging out like that, make a custom brace. Maybe put a little concrete in the ground, put it up there and maybe put a little rubber between the, the metal and the uh, tree. And then um, rest that thing in there and it'll rest down on it. Maybe jack it up a little bit with some jacks or something or a tractor and set it back on there when you put it in there. And then uh, then sit back and watch and wait. And you'll have a really interesting sideways growing oak like this one. All right, time to go play some more golf. Ooh, good shot, Gannon. So I'm telling you, these trees are totally different seed strain. Look at this. Look at how they just completely grow sideways. I mean, they don't do this at home. Look at this one right here. Look at this. <laughs> how cool is that? <laughs> Quercus agrifolia. This is a different seed strain, people. What do you know about this? I want to know. I want some comments. I want some people to tell me what it is about these Central Coast trees that causes them to grow so sideways and crooked and in multi-trunk clusters like this. I wonder if that was one big old tree that died and then a bunch of sprouts came up. But look, they all grow crooked. I love it. I love these shapes. I've tried to do this in my house, but they just won't want to grow up. It's the same, it's the same quirks agrifolia as home. Same species, different seed strain. Tell me, what do you see? What do you see? I'm seeing a pattern. Around the, around the golf course. That's their view. What do you see? What do you see going on here? <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore. These are not the kind of oak trees that grow near me. This is so bizarre. They're so consistent. Look at that beautiful grove right there. Isn't that cool? Are those all individual? Plants, or is that one plant that's sprouted multiple? So many mysteries to the world that I need to solve. And yeah, my golf ball sucks. Out of eight holes, I only used my shot six times. Oh, I only played. It's the first time I played on the course in ten years. <laughs> Here we go. Check this one out. Look at the golf. Golf is just incidental to being here. Look at that tree. I think that's one tree right there. I think that's like, that could be like a 10,000 year old plant where the main tree that sprouted is long gone. And it's, those are just suckers coming off the bottom. Suckers from suckers from suckers over many years. Is what's going on with that one. I almost can guarantee it. That's my conclusion after looking at these trees. I bet if you test those, they're genetically all exactly the same. They're not different seeded trees. Anyway, I gotta, I'm not doing so well. <laughs> we're, we're playing in competition like four groups of us and, and best ball to hit. I've only hit the best ball six times. That was good. Better than me. A pretty good shot. It's the yellow ball right in front right there. Anyway, this is what we're looking at here. Not only are they sideways, 
this has got to be a tree that sprouted and then grew up and died and the sprouts came up. That tree grew up and died, sprouts came up, just like a redwood grove. And this is like one tree and who knows when the original tree sprouted, it could have been just so long ago. And I think that's what's going on here. So look at these trees, look at that tree like right there on the left, same thing. But incredibly different than that. Uh, Maybe I'll get one of these guys just showing me hitting a golf shot. Show you how bad I am. Oh, yeah, here's another one. That's, the, that's another like one tree grove, I think, right there. They're all in these clusters. Let me see that? I'll show you right now. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, right there. See how that sprouts off the bottom? That's been going on for, I don't know, a long time. And, uh, over and over and over again it's causing and these trees are all grown away from each other so yeah this is interesting i really like it i love these trees see that and i pushed it out right, there too just like mine there i go gary yeah you aim like a foot left of the pin yeah here john video me one one swing of the golf club here. <laughs> All right. It's running right now. I know. Get Can up. Can you do there. it from up here? No, yeah. right here. Uh, right here. Come on, Gary. Knock this one in. Go, go left of the pit. Four beers or three of I have? I can't remember. Go to the left? Of the yes, pit? left of the pit. Like a foot left of the pit. That looks good. It's in the hole! Oh, <laughs> oh well. Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. Look at this one. Look how cool that tree is. It's so cool. Oh, my God. How'd you? I know. <laughs> that was a pop up. That was a pop up to the shortstop, John. I want to get these guys. Show me the ball. Oh yeah, that's Gannon. He's got the best swing team. of the crew. It's right over the tree. Who's going in? Yeah. Nice. Right, so look at that beautiful oak. All right, John. Here, I'm gonna get one shot of me driving here. I got it, man. I'm gonna kill it. hit between the shortstop and third baseman I'll take it <laughs> all day long here's another interesting tidbit they say that these oaks can't tolerate summer watering but <laughs> that's the only way you can keep the grass green so what's going on here let's have some comments what's keeping the oaks alive in a golf course they seem to have no problem whatsoever or as I like to say no problema should I play chicken with these guys? Should I play chicken with them? Should I play chicken with them? Right there. You guys see my ball? Where's my ball? Oh. My ball's over here. So. Oh, there's, they already got my ball. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad of a shot. We're going to go investigate the natural habitat off the course. So this is what's going on here, people. You've got all these sprouts in the bottom of the trees, and um, that's what's causing these things to grow up into these communities. And this is definitely, definitely the same. Kind of like, here's the dead one in the middle. See it? And then a bunch of sprouts happened on the outside of it, and then it caused these ones to grow up here. And here's another new one coming up. So that's what's going on here. These are all the same plant. There's becoming multiple multi-trunk clusters. It's really cool. Look at that one. That one way over there. Look, here's another nice one over here. It's not as pronounced off the golf course in the weeds, but 
there's just something. I wonder if it's soil type. I don't know. I'm so intrigued. You can probably get tired of this video, but I'm not. Let's go. Let's see if I can make a fool of myself a little bit more, a little bit longer today here. I also have sand. It's pretty sandy. I'm not sure if that's the. Yeah, it's a sand substrate. Anyway, let's see what I can do. John, can you grab my ball? For myself a little more. The fun thing about being a sucky golf, golf player, golfer, is that you're often hitting the ball off the course, which gives you a great, great excuse to go look at all the trees out here. Is that you? Did you find yours? I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in this guy's spa up here. Hey, can I look in your hot tub for my golf ball? Yellow. There's a reason I use yellow. It's because I suck. I don't really want to suck the course. Oh well, I don't see it. I'm just gonna have to. Luckily, Cannon hit one right down the middle. We're gonna use that as our best shot. Uh, no, I hit it over here somewhere. It was actually a really good hit. It was right down the middle until it started to curve. <laughs> it curved a lot. Anyway, let's have to get another ball out. These ball companies have to stay in business somehow. I'm gonna help them. You guys like crooked oak trees? You like golf? I've got a deal for you, baby. Look at this. I've got a deal for you. These new houses. You live right here in Lombok. First, you gotta learn how to say it. Lombok. Oak. I'm not sure how to say it. But, uh, yeah. Oops, there you go, a little better. Villas now selling 805-714-3072. Look at that, pick any one you want. Doesn't matter which one you pick, because they all look the same. And, uh, oh, where? Oh, whoops, I went too far. <laughs> we're supposed to get up here. Yeah, man, this is not my sport. That's my sport. Ah, that's my sport right there. That's what I, I'm really good at that. I can beat you guys all day long on a tractor. All day long. Doesn't matter what, what tractor or what we are doing. I'll beat you every time. Great. That one's already sold. Yes, I just got the best one right down the middle. I was the star of that time. It's just random. Though. And our, luckily this is a U-turn part of the course because I had a beer. These guys have the beer. There's Mike. Oh. Whoops. A little bit to the right. Cerveza. Cerveza. Where is it? Where is the cerveza? Where is the cerveza? Got, got, got beer? Yeah. Where's the beer? All right. I'm fully loaded now. Look, there's my little yellow ball. Look, they're looking for their balls in the bushes. Not me. My ball went right down the middle. So I need to get over this oak tree or through it. How do you do that? I think I should have been over there. This is a little tricky. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Look. Did I tell you about how cool the oaks are here? So the guys are saying that they think I hit that tree and it bounced back. Um, I don't know. Anyway, he's looking for his ball over there still. But I think I see one of my favorite trees. It's right there. Look at this limb. See that? I love anomalies in nature. Like cats that sleep on their back and trees that grow crooked just above the ground. We'll get a close-up of that pretty soon here. But first, they have to find their ball. And then we're gonna take, this is the best shot, so we're gonna take this shot right from right here. Oh no, oh no. Maybe that's his best shot. We taking my shot or your shot? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I didn't get the best shot. There's another one. That one's cool. You gonna hit your three one out of there? There's no support on that yeah. tree and it goes just completely laterally. Our trees, when they lay that low, they just go all the way to the ground. I have a few like that in my yard, in my house. But anyway. 
Oh, take your shot from here. Here it goes again. What's he gonna do? Oh, you didn't like it. All right. All right. Let's get a closer look. Here it is. Look at the slim. Wow, I love it. This one's cool. There's no one has room in their yard for this. This tree looks like it fell over. What the heck? Look at this tree. Oh my gosh, it's obviously touching the ground. Right there, supported. And then it's just completely off the ground all the way out here. Oh, this is so much fun. What a fun tree. There's, there's another one over there. Kind of the same thing. These trees are cool. You gotta come golf here just to check these trees out. Seriously. There's another one over there. That crazy sideways and then you see that. I suggest you bring a little bit. Those aren't all for me. There's some from these guys. Yeah. I would have named this golf course Dancing. This is a there. I would have named this golf course Dancing Oaks. Yes, those are seating naked ladies right there from South Africa. And if you come here, you better watch out for the bees. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Let's go investigate. Let's go investigate. Oh. Check it out. Where are the bees? <laughs> there are bees in here? Let's see. I just got to make a running start at it. Any bees. I think it's all a big lie. So you guys can hit away. You just hit a good one. More importantly, John, tell me about the tree. So that, that is, is cool nature tree. and balance. <laughs> Lighting's bad. You can't really see, but that is a cool, that is a cool tree. I mean, how do you hold that much weight that far out? I mean, that's just so cool. That's like a, one big long bench right there. Did it? Believe it or not, I got it on the green. I got the best shot. <laughs> I think a long putt. Um, so what I suggest, if you're not very good at golf, uh, like, there, is that better? If you're not very good at golf, I'm actually really good for how little I play. It's the first time I played in like 10 years. <laughs> and I never really played before. But if you're not really good, I suggest you just uh, bring some beer and then just look at all the trees. There's beautiful out here. Look at this guy rolling in the grass over here. See him? That guy, look, he's rolling the grass right there. All right, I gotta go make a putt. There's more. Look at this. Look at that. Hey, Gary, grab my ball. I'm not gonna grab your balls. What do you think I am? You gotta pay me to do stuff like that. I don't know why he's thinking I'm gonna do that for him. Anyway, I hit it pretty good. Right here. John there. Right, I'm gonna grab his balls. Ah, where is it? There it is. Right there. Oh, got it. Let's go. So Gannon hit it like another 50 yards farther than that. Gannon's the stud of the group. All right, you asked for it. There it is. This is the guy with the roller right there. Look at my shot I made. Not bad. From way down there. All the way to here. The pin is right there. But they claim that the guy on the other side of the pathway is better. So we're going to pick mine up and try from over there. This is a game. I forget what you call this. Some kind of scramble or something. You take the best hit of all your guys. Oh, look. You did pretty good. Did pretty good. Oh. All right. Yeah. 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 He's buddies with him and they go like, hey, oh, Get some Mexican food somewhere. Go back to the surf trip. 